The Stranger. Ooh. This is a great film. It feels like a film that could be easily expanded out into a feature. It's very concise. It starts off with a really good, interesting mystery. Who has so many comments on The Stranger? I think it was the best film so far. The only part I didn't like is when she gets kicked out of the house. I just feel like she would be more angry from the way she hit the windows. But yeah, I think it was the best film so far. Yes, I think that the performances are one of the strongest aspects, especially the, the relationship with the mother and the daughter. So much is communicated through just their little interactions, through their speech to each other. I, uh, I, sh I should have called. Just the classic core theme of like paranoia and like a conspiracy theory, so just having everybody against you. And what's interesting about this film is that we don't know for sure who is sane and who isn't. We don't know for sure if the sister is real or if she's not. We, we see these moments, but it's kind of an unreliable narrator situation because we've established that there's some kind of nefarious past with this girl that has been touched on a little bit, but we're not quite sure what the deal is there. Well, they also kind of ended up like drug use, I, I feel. Um, so it, just, it plays on stuff as schizophrenia, drug use. Like it just, it doesn't really allow you, like, it doesn't give anything away. It makes you think about it. Um, like it was very, I just don't know. I, it leaves you asking a lot of questions. Yeah, and that's what's cool about this because it doesn't really spoon feed you. It lets you kind of interpret it as you want. Go ahead. But then um, when she met up with her friend, didn't he mention that she was the only child? Yeah, that's the complications. But then when he comes back to the party, he's talking about sisters, so you yeah. don't really know. That's what's so interesting about this. So another thing that's pretty cool about this film is the cinematography really captures the mood and the tone of the film. I noticed that the, the color palette changed from the beginning when she felt when she was very new to the situation. It was very cool colors. Her makeup was very different. And as she became more engrossed in the situation, things got a lot warmer, her hair got a lot softer, her makeup was a different color palette as well. I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah, they do that very well. They do kind of a consistent shift visually as uh, the situation unfolds in the film. That's something that's a total strong point for it. Uh, I just thought there was a really interesting shot at one point. I don't think it was an accident, but when she was looking through the window, there with the, her collar of the sisters, the evil sisters dress was making uh, devil horns on her head. Ooh. There, was a, there was a warped piece of glass that was causing that effect. Yeah. Costuming is something that's very consistent in the film. Did you guys notice that the, the invisible sister or the, the possibly made up sister is always in red? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of things like that in this film. The two sisters had the exact same necklace on. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, that's interesting.